Hey guys, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to come on and share my latest design team project for diamond dies. These dies are from the latest release. I love this big mini album pale die. And the minute I saw it, I knew I wanted to try and make a shaker card out of it using this open space right here. So this is the card that I made, and it is my birthday card for Sydney, who is Erica's daughter. Erica is Scrap Diva 29, and she's celebrating surpassing 700 subbies with a giveaway challenge. There's lots of ways to enter. One's as easy as just leaving a comment. If you head over to her channel and you're a new subby, please tell her that Crafty Paws sent you. Started by making a hinge shape card, and I will put a link in the description box below to where I show how to make a hinge card. It's really easy. I use the diamond dies big dog bone die to do that, and I'll put a link right here to that video. Then I cut some scrap pieces of paper, these little polka dot sheets. I just cut this bottom portion of the die a couple of times and then just use scissors to cut the other waves out to create these little hills. I colored in the back hill. I used W3 for that. Just to make it a little bit darker than the front hill, I wanted to create a little scene here. So I cut out a couple of these little starfish from the Diamond Die Starfish die set. And then I stamped out these cute little faces on these starfish just to give them personality. And I used this Lawn Fawn Love You S'more set and colored up the edges of the starfish and added little dots to them. And didn't they come out really cute? I love their little personalities from those faces. And then for the little girl, I used this CC Design Sunglasses Emma because she's holding a little pail. So I thought she was a perfect match for this little scene. I colored her with my Copic markers. I also paper pieced her little swimsuit and the little towel that she has in her bucket. And for this little sentiment here, what I did was I stamped out the sentiments here, but they're not divided up this way. So I just used that Scotch tape masking technique where you mask off the part that you don't want with Scotch tape and then you ink it remove the scotch tape, and then you stamp it. This gave me the flexibility to divide up the sentiment the way I wanted to, so that the words would fit into the Fisker's cloud punches that I wanted to use. I used the large, medium, and small punches. So this says, every day is fun with you. And then I inked the edges with a pale blue um, Sukuneko chalk ink. Then for the fun part, <laughs> I made this little pocket using one of those pocket sleeve things, these plastic sleeves. And what I did to make the proper shape to fit exactly in that area is I took the die cut insert part, took it out, and then used my fuse tool to go around to make the pocket just a teeny bit larger than the opening so that then I would have a place to adhere behind the handle and at the top of the bucket. And I had fun choosing what I wanted to put in there. I put in some little seashells, and the dimension on those seashells really helps the other shaker pieces move around. See, there's lots of space in there. And then also, I wanted to add some more sparkle in there, so I used a little scrap of lavender glitter cardstock, and I cut out a few of these little shovels and put them in there too as little shaker pieces, and I think that's super cute. I used an extra one, and I just cut off the bottom part, and put in the handle into the bucket so it looks a little like she's got a little shovel in there. And in terms of the construction, I cut out a white piece just to layer on top. I just glued everything down. And then I also did the inside an extra white cutout of the same die cut um, and glued that all around. I will say that I probably should have used zip dry glue or the Beacon 3-in-1 because it's hard to adhere to this plastic. But what I did do was I used score tape, and it seems to be holding up pretty well. For the inside, I just cut out the die cut pail and the shovel just for extra little sparkle inside. And I stamped out the happy birthday using this Inky Antics stamp set that was gifted to me by Carmen, Mix Nana 2012. Just to add a little extra dimension, I popped up this little cloud here on foam adhesive. I added a little highlighting with my white jelly roll pen here and glossy accents to the top of the sunglasses. And oh, for the handle part, you know how a lot of buckets will have the metal part and then a little plastic handle to protect your hand? So I just took this die 
And you see where the ridge is here inside inset? That's the part that actually cuts. So what I did was I put the die down on a piece of this pattern paper and I just took a pencil and drew around the outside of the die like it was a template and then just fussy cut around making little arches on either side. And that makes this little handle just be a tiny bit wider and I think that was a nice little added touch and it brings up the patterns from down here all the way up to the top of the card. And that's my project. I really had fun making this. I hope you guys will check out Diamond Dies. If you do decide to make a purchase at Diamond Dies, please consider using the coupon code THANKSCHRISTINA for 10% off and free worldwide shipping on orders of $35 or more. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty day.